Alrighty, since the last time I made a video here, you can see I've added a uh, couple of sea uh, wings basically that I can park boats under on both sides here. We've got a couple of docks in my main base, but this video is not about my main base, it's about the new base that we've started on. Uh, so we've been doing all this prior to the Iron Age. You can see I'm wearing a little bit of iron gear at the moment, but uh, we've only just started finding iron. So this entire base has been built out of wood and stone. Uh, in fact, wood. We've got about four stone pillars that we've started using recently since we found iron and made a stone cutter. But prior to that, this whole thing has been created out of wood. So, I'll give you a little tour through the insides. Uh, you can see here we built basically a easy way to move carts around. So, hop down onto our outer platform here and get a bit of a scale of the size of the base. It's pretty massive. Multiple levels. Uh, we've got our teleporters and things on my right here big open spaces that we can bring carts into. Start a little naming system down this side over here where you can see we've got chests with different types of materials all stacked up. Apparently someone's been playing with the structure and broken a piece of roofing here. I guess I'll have to fix in a minute. Uh, up here onto the ceiling, go up and have a look at the very top. You can see the view we get from our, this is our roof cavity. I do a lot of cross beams in here because if I take my hammer, you can see Lots of these panels here as we move away from the center columns. There's one column going down here, and there's another column right here. Goes all the way down to bedrock, basically. Uh, that pillar there as well. And then as we move further and further away, as you can see, redder and redder and redder. And so, can't go much further than any of these places. So down here, we've got our, um, oh, our bench you can have a little uh, rest on. Have a bit of a view. There's the top platform here. Looking down onto our balcony, we built a second little seaport down this way. We've got these boats in there at the moment. Uh, we'll go back through and have a look down the stairs. So here's our top floor. We've got another floor on the right hand side over here, which more chests on the second level up, all labelled as well. We continue down this way, staircase, go down to some lower sections of the base. Uh, we build a double staircase that goes all the way from ground floor to ceiling height. This is basically the only stone in the entire structure right here that we've just started using. Here's our big forging section. We've got a forge, workbench, all the upgrade materials around the place. The fermenters, here's our fireplaces with cauldron. Uh, inside this room here, we have all of our kilns and smelters out the back, all covered by a big roof, as you can see. Uh, back inside here, we've got our little entranceway that you can come into and an under part storage area for carts. And this little uh, route that I'm heading down here will actually lead me to my old base over there, so we come down this way with our, this took a long time to landscape, uh, we can come down here with our carts, bring all of our carts up into the base from my base after we pull up at the seaport, run up this way, bring them into the left hand side, park them in that little undercover area there, unload them into all of our chests, uh, and just to my left here, I've just started building a farm here to try and uh, make some better food, because we haven't spent a lot of time foraging, we spent most of our time building. You can see through this doorway here to my right hand side, with a little passageway takes us out to an undercovered area where we've got our seed plants on the top shelf and all of our seeded crops down below here. Chest to sort the seeds, obviously. Uh, back into the main section of the base. You can see down along this way here, we've started placing uh, beds, a little bit of storage per person. So there's one of our players' beds right there, another one over here, next to our fireplaces. This one's mine. You can see I'm greedy, so I've got lots of chests and a couple more that haven't quite been claimed down the front here. Uh, this smoke system, we've got a chimney system, so you can see up here, uh, along this kind of route up here that I'm lighting up, you can see the smoke is building up into these platforms. It's running along and then it's going out this side here and coming out this side, floating up, and doing the same on the other side as well, out over on this side, coming up. And here's our base room down below. You get a bit of a size of the scale of it. It's fairly massive, we've dug out some channels around the sides to protect us from troll attacks. Down here we can move into a dock area that's been built. Uh, let's see the basic dock pulls up the seaport, bring materials in, run up, unload them. Deer are all staring over the cliff face, looking at their once pastured area that's been kind of commandeered. Uh, I'll head up the other side there again. And you can see nice open spaces. Under each of these is those vertical pillars that go all the way up to ceiling height. So each of there's another pillar there, that pillar. Heads all the way down, down to here. Uh, interestingly, one of the things we had to do originally, because we didn't have stone, didn't quite realize how the foundations worked. I don't know if you can see that there, I'll move it. 
that is a large rock, so we had to build up the ground underneath to be able to increase the structural height because the ceiling kept breaking off. It was a bit of a nightmare, but now we've figured out that you could have just built some stone. Uh, material, well, that was embarrassing. Uh, could have built some stone materials like this pillar here, and I don't know if you know, but that one's a foundation, and above it, the stone on top of a foundation isn't a foundation, but if you place wood on top of a stone foundation, suddenly it's foundation again. So it's a foundation pillar. We used to have a big rock coming up to here uh, that we had to raise up the ground to be able to get the pillars to the right height to put the whole ceiling in, but this was an easy fix that I wish I knew about prior to building the entire base. <laughs> anyway, we'll head back up top, give you a little viewer error for the back end. This is uh, probably in the region of 50 or so hours worth of work. Uh, for about three or four different people. And you see up here we can get got our big roof area that for some reason is broken at that front corner to go fix. Uh, and down here right below me this is the roof that's looking over the kilns. You can see them in my camera a little bit way down there. I'll jump down. And so this roof took a little while to build as well but whatever. Lots of pillars moving down. So basically the whole area is roof now and we've got these big channels built all the way along which are uh, that was not a small job. Uh, and stops the, <laughs> the trolls come to attack and they just stand there on the other side and they can't attack and if you want to kill them you just kind of go and fight them. And even the other attacks, like you get these swamp biome attacks, uh, the dreggy and the friggin skeletons, they come in from over this side and they all kind of just stand here and they're like, oh, um, well, and then you just shoot them with a bow and arrow and they can't do diddly, so good times, well designed, uh, lots of work there. And over this side, lastly, we're just going to be putting a ball farm over here, so. There's a bit of a tour of where we're up to. Um, yeah, it's it's not it's not been fun, honestly. Building out of just wood um, without any iron support is a bit of a nightmare when you have to like reach build height and try and get a ceiling to stay in. Um, so this is uh, literally as high as we could go. We tried to make it a nice wide kind of Viking level hall. So. Yeah, there you go. Alright guys, I'll talk to you again later. See ya.